Hello everybody, my name is H1 Moore. I am with the LEAD 360 uh, program out of NMRNTC Bethesda. Um, LEAD is an acronym for Leadership, Educate, and Development. It is a joint service spin on the Sailor 360 program that a lot of us are accustomed to. Um, the CPO 365 program for a lot of the older folks uh, in the audience right now. So uh, today we're going to be going over one of the most important things and one of the most new things in the Navy, which is my Navy assignment. Um, people might have known that it was called C or CMSID back in the day, but it has moved to my Navy assignment. So we're going to show you a little bit of how to navigate, uh, how to find your schedule, contact your detailer, go over the home screen a little bit, um, how to actually find the job you're looking for for your orders, and then how to filter stuff like that. Um, the bookmarks, which is a huge, huge, huge deal, your resume, and then a little other tips and tricks that we've kind of uh, discovered just kind of playing with this. So to get into it, um, you can find My Navy Assignment under your quick links for your My Navy portal. So once you scroll down and find My Navy Assignment, it's going to open up another link. I don't like having too many tabs open, so I'm going to close that one. So this is what it's going to look like on every computer. You're going to have your CAT card login. Uh, to the right, you're going to have your reservist, and to the left, as you're looking at the screen, you're going to have your FTS and your active duty. So going over this, um, you know, orders, how do I know when my orders window is going to be open? Perfect question. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your schedule. Uh, so your schedule is located right here out of the four boxes in the top left corner under active duty, and the same thing for reservist. And you're just going to scroll down to the month that corresponds with you. So as you know, um, Orders are only allowed to be applied for when you're 12 months from your PRD. So I this is perfect, actually, because I'm supposed to PCS from Walter Reed on May of 2021. So I'm in my window right now, and I'm actually on my third look. So I've scrolled all the way down to November, and right here in the green, it shows you with the corresponding table above it. This color green means you're available for active um, component or full-time support applications. So you just look from the time that it opened to the time that it's going to be closed. It's going to be closed on the 9th of November. So with that being said, you have that time to pick your orders and go on to my Navy assignment and pick uh, pick all seven of your orders. Now, after that, it goes into a command comments or command phase, which the gaining commands um, will be going in there and, you know, looking over whoever their number one through however many it is. And then it scrolls into the the red part where the detailers make your selections. Now, this is where you find out if your orders have been posted, taken, canceled, or if you've gone on to your next look. So pretty much just a real brief overview of that is exactly how your scheduling is going to work. So now you might be like, OK, so I figured out when I'm going to, you know, get my orders. But what if I what if I don't get orders on all my third look? How do I know to contact my detailer? Well, there's two ways. The easiest way is you can go to find my detail, which is another one. So as you can see here, every single rate, every single job, every single NEC has a specific detailer. There's a lot of us in the Navy. Um, so there has to be a lot of detailers that correspond. And you'll see some de detailers that take a lot on, but you can kind of get the gist that there's a lot of detailers. So for my corpsman out there, and we're just going to pick on the L17 Alphas because <laughs> that's what I am. It's an X-ray tech. We have a detailer, but you can see us, a search and rescue, the 05 Alphas, the 09 Alphas, the L12 Alphas. All of us have the same detailer. It's kind of crazy. But if you're not an L17 Alpha, and let's just say you're an L23 Alpha. Oh, look at that. You go right here. You find it out or that's L32, excuse me, L23 alpha, you find it out. And then if you want to call the detailer, it's right there to the right. So everything you need to know, and this is their group where you can email the detailers at. Now, if you need to know who your specific detailer is, what you're going to do, go ahead, hit that smart card login. You're going to log right on in. This is what the home screen is going to look like. And boom, right here at the tippy top, it's going to say your detailer contact info. It's going to give you their rank, their name, their email address and the number you can contact them. They made it so simple to get in contact with the detailers now. It's really, it's it's amazing the way that the Navy's gone with this. So you're gonna look at your home screen right now and you're gonna see a couple of things. You're gonna see the submit the applications. Uh, it's just a reminder telling you that you're in your window and you need to submit your applications. It's gonna tell you if you applied and if so, how many. If you notice in the parentheses, there's seven uh, in the parentheses. So that means I applied to seven. 
Then it's going to say you're selected, your order is under review, and your orders are pending release. Now, don't get too worried about everything on this. We're going to go into the details in the details of it all. Um, one of the things we're going to hit on later in the video is the my resume. Um, my history is just where you've been. My personal info is just who you are, um, your uh, your ASVAB scores, your personal qualifications, anything like that. And your preferences are just your preferences of where you would like to go. Um, the detailers do like to work with people um, so long as you work with them. So they do take your preferences into account. Now, the big, big, big hitter is I've had people come up to me at work like, hey, H&M, uh, I don't even know how to apply or select orders. So what do I do? So I'm going to show you guys. So now we're going to go into the jobs aspect. So it's right here in the top right corner and there's a drop down menu. So if you go here and the very first thing we see is view jobs. So we're going to click on view jobs. Let it load up. Now, mine looks a little bit different because I'm on my computer at home. Yours um, at work or wherever it may be, may be closer together. It's just the way that it loaded on my Mac. So all you need to do is okay so i see all the orders well guess what you know h1 more i'm i'm not a biomed tech you know i'm a field med tech but i'm not a surgical tech or a pt tech so how do i get it narrowed down to specifically what i am and i am glad you asked so as you see right here under map communities that doesn't mean the communities they're going to map in the navy it just means um the communities that are mapped to that assigned number so if we scroll down and we go to L17 Alpha, look at that advanced x-ray tech. Okay, well, cool. All right, so now I get to see all the orders that are available for x-ray techs and the pay grades of E5s and E6s. So we got C and we got shore. Well, what if, you know, H1, uh, I'm coming off of shore duty. I don't really want to be, you know, back to back shore. What should I do? Ah, here's what you do. See this at the top where it says type of duty? Boom. Go ahead and hit C duty right there at the top and it's going to narrow and filter down your list to C duty. And this applies to every single job that's under this map community. Every single NEC, every single identifier, anything like that, it's going to you can narrow it down just like that by going to C. So now I see all the available bills that are ready for C and they all say open. But then as I scroll down a little bit more, I'm starting to see more that say, oh, wait, well, they're closed. What does that mean? That just means they're not ready for selection yet. Um, that certain UIC or the detailer hasn't opened it up to the public, um, but they're letting you in on what's going to be coming up. So you can kind of plan around that. Before we get into that, we're going to go over a little bit more about filtering. So if you see here at the bottom, it says additional filters. Now, look at that. You can worry about uh, female bunk availability for the 9999 code, um, the match the sailors in EC. You got the UIC. Uh, if you want to try to identify a specific UIC, you want you got the platform, you got the NEC. So these are the, for the people with multiple NECs. So this says L17 Alpha, right? This is my map community. What if I want L03 Alpha? Well, guess what? It's going to pop up underneath and it's going to say field, med, uh, field medical service technician. So now I can go ahead and search on that and it's going to show me all the billets that are requiring or requesting to have an L17 alpha and an L03 alpha. Now, sometimes it takes a little long um, just because it's getting very specific, but you'll see here I've narrowed it down from ships and the NMRNTU to all green side billets. So that's just a little bit that you can play with, um, you know, at your very own leisure. And then you can handle that if you have multiple NECs. So moving on from that, we've gone and we've already gone over very briefly the schedule, uh, how to find your detailer with the home screen opens, how to find the jobs and filter the jobs. Now, you know, one of the biggest things that people worry about is, oh, well, H1, you know, I, I you know, I felt like I was running out of time with, you know, selecting my orders because ugh, I don't know. It was just so much. I was I, I'm very indecisive, whatever. Don't even worry about it. If you look right up here in this top left corner, you see how my arrow just turned into a, a glove that you can click. Look at that. It says reset session countdown. Boom. I have my 15 minutes all over again. So don't worry about and don't feel stressed for time. If you start to notice and once it gets in the lower numbers, you'll start to see it turns red. 
Once this, you see it turn red, just go ahead and hit that reset button and it'll be good to go, okay? Um, one of the other things that the Navy did come out with a while ago is the A2P or the Advanced to Position programs. In my experience looking at this, I've only seen about one or two for IDCs and RDCs. Um, but if you are trying to find it, just go ahead and click the buttons right here. Don't worry about the not accepting applications and then just filter it down to whatever specific NEC or a basic L03 or quad zero order you want to pick. So what if you see a billet that's like, oh, OK, you know, I'm I'm already stationed at Camp Lejeune. Um, I'm not up for orders for like another you know, three months, you know, but I see this order right here and this is kind of interesting. What can I do? Well, so you don't lose it. What you can do is you can go ahead and click on this bookmark right here and it'll turn green. And then, well, what does that do? That didn't take me anywhere. What you want to do is you, after you selected your bookmarks, you can bookmark up to a hundred of these, I believe. Go ahead into my bookmarks. Now, once that loads up, this is going to hold every single billet um, or every, yeah, every single billet that you've had selected and it's just going to hold them until they open up or they open or close or get picked or whatever and they clear. But this is like your own little personal, like my favorite stash of the orders that you wanted to keep an eye on. So when you're, you know, negotiating for orders or whatever, maybe it just kind of compiles everything into a central location. So as you can see, you know, I've, I've went through and I've definitely uh, bookmarked a whole bunch. Um, as you can see, some are open, some are closed. Uh, some have gotten picked up, some haven't. So, you know, it's just good to kind of have it in your back pocket to be like, oh, okay, I remember that. Plus, it makes it easier accessible when we've all tried to log on to My Navy assignment in the beginning when orders just open and it just doesn't work because everybody's trying to pick orders. So you can just go to this and, you know, get rid of the hassle of picking going through everything and scrolling through everything and filtering down to where you already have your picks right here. Now we've already gone over the, we've gone over your bookmark portion and how you can look for your orders. Now what's going to help you get those orders. One of the biggest things that the Navy or my Navy assignment just implemented and not a lot of people realize is my resume. So my resume can be found in two spots. It can be found right here or once we do this, it can be found right here on the home screen. So we're going to go to my resume on the home screen just to make it easier. Again, it can be found under the, the my info at the very bottom, or it can be found under my resume. So we'll go down to my resume and I'll let you guys look at this one. This is going to identify every single thing you've done in the Navy. Um, it's going to talk about your NECs. It's going to talk about your, uh, this is also under your personal info your warfare devices when you your security clearance is going to expire uh your education your evaluations it's it's going to go over everything and what kind of confused me um with this and i'm glad chief jerell um from walter reed she showed me this that this isn't where your resume goes right there's resume comments now there's a difference um between your resume comments and your resume for your assignment history. This is where you want to put everything because when the detailers open this up, this is what they see. They're not going to scroll down and be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah I'll put out, I'll, I'll, I'll spend the extra two seconds to scroll down. No, they just want to see what's in their face. Oh, okay, I see. And then um, they're just like, okay, I see, I see. And they're scroll down. Like, okay, cool. So he would be a good fit for, oh, he was advanced. All right, so the year, oh, had a deployment. All right, so he's good for operational, yada, yada, yada. And then they'll go into stuff like that. So from there, that's pretty much what you want your resume to um, look like. Your resume doesn't need to be, and I know they said it in the video, but I just want to hint on that again. It's not about how many cupcake sales you had or how many uh, associations you led, or um, it doesn't have to be how many people you led in the association or anything else like that. They want real impact. They want to talk about um, retainment. They want to talk about salarization. They want to talk about your deployments. They want to talk about how they can take you and make the next platform that is receiving you better. If you're an instructor, if you were ACFL, if you already have FMF qualifications or qualifications in that work center, um, if you've been it, well, how you've been advanced, if you're diversified, 
Uh, what is your experience with uh, instruction? You know, just just kind of stuff like that, stuff that they can't see on your eval because they can only look up what you got on your eval and what type of eval it was and then what pay grade. They can't tell you, you know, oh, OK, he did this and this and this and this and this. They're not going to look into that aspect of things. So this is just a very brief video of what your my Navy assignment, um, your resume your how to navigate it and anything else like that i highly encourage you all to just mess around with it figure out what works for you what doesn't work for you um and what you like so at this point this wraps up my presentation on the video of my native assignment um hopefully this was helpful hopefully you learned a little something about this and um yeah so thank you all for watching